Hey guys, oh, let's see if the focus. Sweet. So back to LA. Welcome. Excited for this next video. So today I'm going to be talking about the three mistakes we as young Christian adults make when it comes to Instagram. Um, I'm super excited just to kind of get into it. And all these mistakes are things that I've done personally, and that's what I'm learning from. And so whew, it's hot out here. The three mistakes that I I've made personally and I think we all make. So let's get to it. But before that, make one more hoop and it's dark. Find a, find a nicer place where it's not so, uh, not so uncomfortable. Okay. Okay, just got back inside. It was way too hot out there. It was. It was something, that's all I've got to say about it. And you can see all this sweat all over me. So, uh, and I was out there for about, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes max probably. And yeah, that'll do. Anyways, we got to get to the first mistake we make on Instagram as young Christian adults and even as a lot of other people too, but I am speaking to young Christian adults so they hear this and we can learn from this from each other. The first mistake we make is having it for no reason. There's just this looming dark cloud over social media and Instagram particularly that I see. And so many people, they don't even ev either use it when they have it or they, they just uh, they waste their time on it. And it's just like, what's the point, right? I'm someone who has been through both. So now before I did my photography and stuff, I had it and uh, I realized, wait, there's no reason for this. And so like, I did get rid of it at one point because it was just, it was pointless. And now I have it because of my photography and I wanna share that with people. So there are different things that you know we might need it for, but ask yourself today, why do you have it? What's the point of you having that, that Instagram account? What good is it doing for you? Next, I'm gonna go see if I can make some uh, cool B-roll of me uh, getting a drink and uh, maybe getting some chips or something. Uh, that might be a funny thing to think that you can even get any decent b-roll of, especially being an amateur videographer and all, but like I'm going for it and we're gonna do it. And so you guys get to see it. So let's go. the chips that's all anyways second reason second mistake I should say that we make is we we're building the wrong kind of community on our on our Instagram either a we're trying to build this community around us where where people aren't really gonna care right it's not the right community the right people the, the people who love what you love right and and you know we're gonna get people who don't agree with us and that's the point like we can't build our community the right way if we're trying to get people who are not actually trying to get right. Oh, I see this famous person, I'm gonna follow them. Oh, this person, follow, follow, and that's all it is with theirs. But the people who have like, you know, in that middle range, I would I would say, you know, they really, a lot of time, have a better impact in what community they're going for because the people who follow them are the people they want to follow them. They don't want these weird people who don't, even care what they're doing on their thing. And also the people that I follow, that's just as important. Follow the people that 
inspire you the right way, who are gonna encourage you, who put stuff out there that you enjoy looking at, not just this random stuff that makes no sense whatsoever. Chips. Really good chips. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. I just had to do something real quick. Um, so thirdly, and most most importantly, in my mind, as a young Christian adult on Instagram, I really think this is something everyone needs to hear because this is something that I did and I still find myself doing all the time, and it is conforming, conforming to other Instagrammers or conforming to try and be the cool one on there. I watch people all across Instagram trying to be like this person, this person, this person, or this person, and they're, they're, they're changing everything. They're, they're becoming who God did not want them to become because they want to be the cool one. They want to be like this person. Oh, this person was wearing this, so I'm going to go wear that or, you know, whatever it is. And we can't serve Christ the way we're supposed to if we're conforming to the world, right? If you can't have control over that, and who God you made, who God you made y'all, you are, who God made you to be, and you don't understand that, get rid of it, like the first mistake. Get rid of Instagram, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. That was quite, quite fast there. Um, as a Christian, be who God made you to be, and run away, run as fast as you can away, from trying to be like anybody else because it's not ever going to be sufficient in your life. God God is sufficient and he is with you, okay? And he loves you and that is such an important thing that you have to hear. And this is something I have to hear all the time when I'm on Instagram. I try to be like those cool nature photographers and I'm not that. I love doing it, but I have to find my own thing and that's what I'm getting across this, this video. Oh, hey, and as also, and as also, I mess up on words all the time, it's funny. And as always, make sure to like this video and click that subscribe button and also hit the bell if you want notifications when I come out with new videos, which I hope to just crush out of here. Out of here. Share this video with people you know who need this, young Christian adults particularly, who have Instagram, okay? So thank you so much, have a blessed day, see you later.